closer so that hello my name is hope and i'm a cedarholic welcome to our channel if you're new and if you're not new say it with us hello my name is and i'm a cedarholic camera guy didn't say it and he should have said it too <laughs> but you see i got a big bunch of kale that's my breakfast but i want to show you something else this is a surprise this is a squash formed on the Algonquin squash from Kate and Olympia, Washington. I've only got that one so far, but isn't that flower gorgeous too? So I'm going to get at least one, Kate. And then I have to show you what Mark the Maker made. Look at these. Aren't these gorgeous trellises? So you guys know I planted bush beans here, but I also planted sweet potatoes. And something has been nibbling on them and unfortunately this one's eaten almost to the ground so i gotta get a cover of some kind over here some um hot pepper on the leaves and some something to deter whatever's eating my sweet potatoes so they can grow up this trellis that's the whole point of putting it here but if they eat all my sweet potatoes i'm going to be very sad because these are the purple ones i've been looking for for two years anyhow i might stick in a couple of runner bean seeds and possibly a mint plant out here in the path to deter things because I think in this compost mound underneath it is a couple years ago there was bunnies living so I bet you that's who's eating it but anyways I just want him to come back and show you what he created for me here spectacular aren't those trellises gorgeous just some wood and chicken wire but everything I put there that will climb will climb readily I think um, I got to get a little something to get it from the, the dirt level being so low up to the wire, but I think I'll also seed in probably some Malabar spinach as well since it's so hot here now, but everything as you see is flourishing. I've got lettuce over there that I might pick for lunch, and this one squash plant I'm trying to redirect because it keeps trying to get to the trellis and it's going to get its own. And we did have one more squash under there, but it didn't out and fruit properly don't think it, it got pollinated but the blossom died so I don't think I'll get that one so I know for sure I'll get one Algonquin squash which I will be saving seed from you guys and then I've got bean plants that are just going crazy with blossoms but no beans forming yet I mean they're just really flowering so I expect in the next day or two the beans are going to be overwhelming me but I've already told everybody for church, from church, con my congregation, I should say, that they're going to have to come out and help pick beans um, pretty much every day. Once you start picking beans, if you don't pick them every day, they stop producing. So if your beans or your peas or your any flower and they start producing, as soon as they start pumping out pods, pick them every day. Anyways, I'm going to take my bouquet, bouquet of kale home and go eat my breakfast. I'm going to have some um, kale and onions and eggs. And as always, guys, happy gardening and blessings of bounty. And may your gardens and your lives always bring you joy, inspiration, and abundance. And we'll see you guys next time. God bless. Bye-bye.